When we last left off, we just finished exploring Bali, a place where incredible landscapes meet rich culture and amazing people. We had a remarkable five weeks exploring the island of gods with our friends, but now it's time for the next chapter in our Indonesia adventure, Java. We've got a lot planned for the next few weeks, from incredible landscapes and delicious food to discovering more about the rich culture. So subscribe and follow us along as we dive deeper into the wonderful country of Indonesia. We've made it to the ferry port. Got our ticket right here. Got water. We're gonna go get on the ferry. It only cost 36,000 rupiah, which is like just over two bucks, which is crazy. You have to buy tickets at little booths outside. <laughs> Thank you. So we just got through security. It was a super easy process. We just had to scan our ticket. Uh, everyone's been really, really helpful, which is awesome. And we've got about 17 minutes until our ferry leaves. And I think from there, it should take us about a half hour travel time, but I think loading and unloading might take a little bit longer. So I'm guessing about an hour total, but we'll see. It's only 30 or 40 minutes from Bali to Java. And once we get there, we need to secure transportation to Banyuwangi. Banyuwangi. I don't think I'm saying that right. Hopefully we'll have a guest house there for the night, which will be awesome. And yeah, and we're gonna hang out probably for a day or two, get caught up on some admin stuff, and then climb a volcano. First time for everything. is on this ferry there are people that will ask you if you want to buy snacks or sunglasses or even massages there's a guy walking around giving massages there's a massage guy right there it's pretty chill we got a nice seat it's very nice and breezy it's a beautiful day hopefully the weather keeps carrying through and we have lovely weather for the rest of our trip So we just realized that we went back in time zones. We didn't realize that, that was gonna happen when we went to Java, but gained an hour of our day. The ferry is arriving and our guest house is secured. We're about to get off the ferry now and the homestay is calling us to try and organize transportation. I don't know what that looks like, but we'll find out. Everybody's on here. Okay. okay. <laughs> Salamat siang. Everybody is so nice in Indonesia. It smells like jet fuel in here. Java, and we've just communicated with our homestay, and it appears that Gojek and Grab are available here. Thank God, which is amazing. They told us that we should just order a ride on Gojek. Hello! I love Indonesia, but they told us to just go ahead and order a ride with Gojek or Grab. It's 12 kilometers, so we definitely, won't be walking. <laughs> definitely won't be walking. Wow, the water is so pretty here. As with any type of transportation like this, we've got to get outside of the harbor area first. And from there, we can order a Gojek or a Grab. And we'll be all right. Harbor cat. What's crazy is for the past, what feels like a week almost, we've been staring at volcanoes on the island where we are now. And now we're looking back at the mountains of Bali where we've been for the last five weeks. And it's just like this little strait of water. And, I don't know, Indonesia's really cool. If I'm being honest, I was not expecting to like it nearly as much as I do, but I love it here. This is our first meal in Java. It looks really, really good. It smells even better. It's a green curry fried rice. And it's got peanuts. I forgot what these are 
called kapuk. 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 Yeah, they're basically uh, shrimp chips. Sometimes they taste super shrimpy, sometimes they don't. I also forgot what these are called. We've had them before. They usually have little bits of like peanuts and stuff in them. Mm. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Spicy? Yeah. It's really good. This place is amazing. I'm happy. It's got this sweet pickled cucumber salad with these whole green chilies. See those? So I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. <laughs> those bird's eyes are hot. It's really good. <laughs> So we have just checked in to our guest house. It is called the In Home Homestay, and it's very cute. The host is amazing. He does not speak much English, but he is really good with Google Translate and very, very sweet. We got two rooms to pick from, and we picked the first one he showed us. It smells lovely in here. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like lemongrass and herbal oh, tea. It's amazing. Yeah, it's super amazing, but very it's really, really cute. It's got great lights. It's a small room, but it is... Very comfy, very cozy. We're probably going to see if he has it available for at least another day or two so that we can kind of get caught up on work before we decide what our next plans are. We, you know, never plan anything. So uh, that's nice. But yeah, let me show you around. We've got a queen size bed, which is really nice. There's storage under the bed that's actually really cool as well. Like these little cabinets here. We have a little cabinet here that we can use as kind of like a nightstand as well as just a place to charge things. And there's a mirror so that Ashley can get ready. There's plenty of light in here, which you know we love. There is also a little TV, which we think is great because it's so rare that we get TVs nowadays. And then there's some storage here for our bags. And then just a little bathroom where we've got dual shower heads. There's plants hanging up all above me. There's a hairdryer built in all the things you need. It's the perfect place for us to hang out. There's also a common space kitchen and a little workspace area. We chose this room. It is right next to the front desk lobby area, but it has the best Wi-Fi signal strength that we can find so far. So the other one didn't really have Wi-Fi signal strength. It's just nice. It's, it's, a, it's a nice little place. We paid under $20 a night for this room, so yeah. it's really nice. I like it. And yeah. we get free breakfast. Oh, and there's free breakfast. I yeah. forgot about that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely gonna go holler at our man and see if we can book it a few more nights. Just see if it's on a Goda and book it a few more nights. Yeah. Yeah, we found this place on a Goda. If you are interested and you are in Java and you are coming to do eGen and you are coming to Banyuwangi, check this place out. We'll put a link down in the description and yeah, definitely come check it out. So, one thing we kind of expected but didn't know how, how it would be or <laughs> when it would happen. This is a call to prayer. It's 3.40 in the morning and we're right next to a mosque, so we're, I'm up. Maybe I'll get some work done. Good morning again. It's 7.30 now. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> and we've got breakfast made for us. Our, the host here is so amazing, so we're gonna go eat our breakfast. The choice was noodles or rice, so we got one of each. As you guys probably noticed by now, I'm always the one that makes the coffee. So Ashley's having to figure it out. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> this is why you like. Let's try this coffee. Why? Why is all the coffee here? I have so much sediment in it. I 
It doesn't taste bad. It tastes better than poly coffee, I will say that. Oh, this is my first cup of java. <laughs> it's very chunky. I'm gonna try and make her a cup that's better. Because I think that the water's just not hot enough. I love her so much. Ooh, this is really good. It's spicy. Mmm, okay. you want to try it? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. That was amazing. Change of plans. We kind of had, well, we had no plan. Our idea was that we were gonna come to Banyuwangi, hang out for a day or two, get caught up on work, check, and then potentially climb Ejen, depending on the logistics. But my feet are apparently too big for any of the shoes that are available to rent. Our hosts at our homestay were super lovely and reached out to a number of different tour companies trying to get us some. Normally they'll rent things like hats, jackets, gloves, gas masks, flashlights, that sort of thing. People are typically expected to bring their own shoes. We're not really hikers. So the idea of doing Ejen in the first place was a little bit of a stretch. I love hiking, Ashley does not. I was gonna try and do it in Crocs. Figure maybe I can, maybe I can't, but Ashley only has Birkenstocks and like Chacos, so Probably not the best thing for a super cold volcano climb in the morning. We had a whole other idea. We were gonna head down south, check out some beaches and some amazing places here in Java. But apparently the island has other ideas. It is a volcanic island, as you may or may not know. There's been volcanic activity at one of the largest volcanoes on the island. And that has caused massive flooding and just bad weather in general. A bridge has been washed out. Our way from here to Malong has been compromised. Now I'm heading to the bus station here to try and find us some bus tickets to Surabaya. We'll head up to Surabaya, hang out there for a little bit. It's the second largest city on the island of Java. We'll head there, hang out for a day or two, then make our way down to Malong. And from there, we'll continue on with our plan. Unfortunately, we may not be able to do some of the things we wanted to do while in East Java, but we've got some backup ideas. We're in planning phase now, so hopefully everything will work out, but this is kind of how it works with travel, especially when you're in places like this. You just gotta be prepared, gotta stay flexible. So that's what we're doing, and yeah, I'm gonna go check out the bus station now. I can't seem to find anyone to ask questions or buy tickets. I feel like yesterday when I walked by this place looking for food, people were hollering at me, trying to get me to buy bus tickets, so. Hopefully someone will help, but I've walked around the whole place so far. We'll see. So apparently there is no ticketing system. You just show up. You told me to be here at 10.30 tomorrow. It's a 10 hour bus ride on something called an Icon bus, which I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. He says it's 100,000 per person, which is more expensive than we saw on one to go Asia, but We'll give it a shot, I guess. I'll talk to Ashley, see what she wants to do. Now time to find food. After walking around for what feels like forever, I got food and some drinks. The place I went to go get dim sum was only fish and shrimp dim sum. Ashley will not eat shrimp or fish, really. Sometimes she will. Sometimes she'll brave it, but... Then we were recommended a place by our guest house that was a place that had good nasi champur, which is called something different here in Java. I forgot what it is already. Hello! and they were closed. So went to go get our trusty rendang from the lovely lady who's right up the street from our house. Hopefully Ashley has not died of hunger yet because she said she's very hungry. Feels like it's about to rain. We've not had good luck with weather or conditions since we've been here in Java. So unfortunately we haven't really gotten out and done anything, but it has allowed us to get caught up on work. Definitely not really caught up. I feel like I'm forever behind. Hopefully one day we'll be caught up. Have to, we'll have to stop moving for like a month. 
until then, we'll just keep going like we're going. And yeah. All right, so it is sadly time for us to leave the in-home homestay. It's been our little home for the last three days and we've really enjoyed it. We've had a change of plans. We're gonna try and hike up Egen. Right? Right, we're doing it for my birthday. Yeah, so even though this video will probably come out in 2025, um, <laughs> it's Ashley's birthday in five days. And one of the things she wants to do for her new year on this planet is to challenge herself more. What better way to do that than climb a volcano? So we've actually got nice weather today, even though it called for rain and clouds. We are gonna take a taxi about, what, like 30 minutes from here to a little guest house type cabin in the jungle type situation. Hang out there and hopefully arrange a tour to Mount Nijen and we're gonna climb up it. So we're gonna bring you guys along with us. It's gonna be epic. Hopefully we get good views. If not, it should still be an amazing experience. We're really looking forward to it. So yeah, we're just packing our things right now. You can see that Ashley is pretty well packed. I haven't started because I always take forever but we've been meaning to do a packing video too. I feel like we've talked about doing it, maybe not on the channel, just between the two of us. If that's something you guys would like to see, drop us a comment below and let us know. We've got a whole bunch of stuff and things that we wish we brought and wish we didn't bring and wish we didn't send home, all kinds of stuff. So we'll go over all of that. Things that have saved our trip and made our life easier, things that have been more of a burden. If that's something you're interested in, let us know. I'm gonna get to packing and we're probably gonna try and figure out lunch. We do have a little bit of life admin things to do today before we get in our taxi and head off to the wilderness where there may or may not be internet. So hopefully we can get that all accomplished and wake up bright and early or dark and early rather to climb a volcano.